Radio play. Is that what happened? When PM talking music down right now, I ain't delayed it in there. They didn't even know I know Mr. Pinhead. Yes, they did. No, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. Hold on. I, I, did no, you, Pin, Pin, no. Wait, Albert, did you or did you not call the station and curse somebody out? No, I ain't, no, no. He's lying. He's lying. Albert, it says here in the notes that uh, Pinhead had a girlfriend for two years. Oh, yeah. You yeah. disapproved of her. Oh, you, you had felt to. that as a manager, you had a responsibility to, to intervene. No, you to called get rid her, of her and told her that he had been sleeping with two women when in fact he hadn't. A lie. And she dumped him. A lie. Is that true? No. What happened? We had two women up in there, up in the camp. His old lady, she was in Atlanta with the, the, with the dude who made the rubber, who, who made the day, who made, made the. No, she wasn't that cheating on him. Every time she come back in town, he crying to me. I ain't doing, he ain't gonna, he go, he don't go do no act, he don't do no show. Nothing. I don't do no show. Don't do no show. I don't do no show. No show. She, Albert, she, I don't do no show. No show. All right, Pinhead, Pinhead, did the woman make you crazy? <laughs> come on, Young, come on. Did come she on. make you crazy? Come on. Everybody have problems, all right? Oh. And what I'm saying is, you know, those problems are between me and my fiance. That is something that we should work out. That is my personal that was life. Your that has nothing fiance. to do with him. He okay. should have stayed out there. All right, we was at Where do you get off calling his fiance and ratting him out like that? Huh? Why? Well, you know what, see, I had to get somewhere to get this young lady out of around me and Ben. Hey, y'all, 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 you don't understand. I had to do this. I had to do this. All right, so, Pinhead, you make, you make your own appointments. I you have your own money. I'm the you arrange CEO your own music. of my company. I, I produce. I write. I act. I model. I do it all. And one more like, time, Pinhead, he's done absolutely major. nothing to help your career. Nothing. Yes, Other than sell CDs. I'm telling you what he Has did. Has he ever he given you any CDs? advice? Have you, has he, has he ever given advice? you any advice? Yeah. Has should, he opened doors for you? Should, I should get rid of my fiance. Has, he, has, him, has, him, has, has he opened doors for you? Calling. No, he, he hasn't. Opened my, no doors. Where would you be, excuse me, where would you be if you'd never met him? Where would you I, be? I would be where I'm at now. I did all that on my own. I'll be right back. Thank you. Fat Albert tells Pinhead, I've been with you through thick and thin. Make me a manager. What do you think? I think he was a, he's been a salesman for him, and that's about it. And I think that he's trying to ride on his coattails. Okay. Yes. Looks like it's pretty clear that Pinhead still wants Fat Albert to be his bodyguard. And Pin, uh, Fat Albert, that's your job, to be the bodyguard. Yes. Do not forget the fact that you are friends I first. Love you. I, love I, I agree with you. Yeah, I agree with you. But friends, listen. And I agree with you, but friends don't do some of the things that he's done to me. Like, hey, 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 hey. if he told you from the beginning that you were just going to be the bodyguard, where did where, where you get the idea that you needed to be the manager? Well, I've been in the management business all forever. Man, I, I got okay, but right you should have had a contract. You should have had a professional contract. Huh? Huh? I, I got a blue right now. Period. 20 years in the business, you should have known you get burned. We'll find out who's morally right after this. Court is back in session. Fat Albert, you brought your friend Pinhead to moral court because, in your opinion, he is unfairly and selfishly denying you any credit for his up and coming musical success. We are going to look at this on a moral basis, not a legal basis, because we've got no contract. Um, what have you done for this man? Okay. I've, well, no, Albert, please, don't interrupt me. Yes, sir. What have you done for this man? I want to hear something. This guy I called got him. A deal. This guy I called got him a CD. This guy I know did this. I booked this. I did that. I lent him money. If it weren't for me lending him money so he can produce all his CDs, he wouldn't. I'm looking for something like that, Albert. I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it. You have the burden of proof here. You brought this man to moral court. Give me something, Albert. I'm not getting anything. All I'm getting is he's about ready to make it. I knew he was going to be make it, and now I want mine. That's all I'm hearing. That doesn't make you a manager. Makes you a hanger on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he didn't dump you. He could have. You got rid of his fiance because you disapproved of her? Albert, Albert, he had ample reason to have cut you loose a long time ago. Instead, what did he do? He said, I want to keep you around. I'm offering you this, and that's not good enough for you. And that's fine, Albert. You think you deserve more, you have more experience, more talent, you brought in all these acts, 
then go and find somebody else. But you should have gotten this straight, and it is not right now for you to accuse him of, of mistreating you when you didn't get it straight. $500 to you, sir, the accused. That is my judgment. Isn't it a matter of pride that you don't accept the job as a bodyguard? No, no. I will still be a partner. you still be his bodyguard? Yeah, no, never will be. No. I you keep him out of groups. You're not going to support his career anymore? Yeah, I'm not with him any time he needs. It would be different, though. Yeah. Okay. Don't you think it's wrong that you'd leave the little people behind? Well, you know, I told him he could be the bodyguard, so it's, you know, the thing about a bodyguard is everywhere I go, he go. I mean, that's everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, when I go to sleep, he gonna be somewhere. So I don't see why I'm leaving him behind. Ryan.